Hello, in this session we will be writing unit tests for application layer. Earlier I mentioned that I do not like to unit test application layer for CRUD operations as it needs lot of mocking and it does not have any complex logic as such. In general, the application layer can be tested using integration tests. But still, there is something in an application layer that should be covered by unit tests and that is input validations or command validations. For example, if we will go to create story use case, we can see here we have create story command validator which validates that text is not empty or null. So we should always write unit test to make sure that if we will use null or empty text to create story command then it should throw a validation exception. And if we will use valid text then validation should pass and should not throw any exception. So let us go ahead and write these unit tests for application layer. So we should have separate folder to write all application layer tests. So let us create folder application tests. Inside that let us create folder story tests. And now inside this folder we can have tests for create story command validator as well update story command validator. So let us first start with create story command validator tests. Now here we want to write one test to check that if we will pass null text or empty text then it should report exception. So let us write unit test method create story command validator. This is what we want to validate and the scenario is if text is null or empty and expected behavior is that it should throw validation exception. Now as we want to write unit test for application layer we need to add a reference of that project. So let us add a reference. Next in our arrange section the very first thing that we will need to create object of create story command validator. Let us add the reference. Next we will need to create create story command object with empty string. So this is a scenario that we want to test. Now for validation we are using fluent validation library and fortunately fluent validation library provides us built in test validate method to unit test its validators. To able to use that method we need to first install fluent validation library to unit test project. So let us go to manage NuGet packages and search for fluent validation and let us install fluent validation asp.net core. Now in our act section we will be using test validate method provided by fluent validation library. And here our validator object is of create story command validator. So it needs input parameter of create story command that we are passing here. And the expected behavior is that the validator should report exception. To assert it we can again use other built in method provided by fluent validation library should have validation error for. And here we can specify the property of the object for which we are expecting the validation error. We have to decorate our unit test with fact attribute. Now here you can see that compiler is reporting me error because I am using one parameter here. This is because I want to reuse this test for multiple inputs. So instead of using fact we can use theory here and then we can pass data to this parameter using inline data attribute. So this single test we can reuse for multiple inputs. So here we want to test it for null as well as space as well as empty string. So in all these cases it should report exception. Let us replace this with the parameter. And now if you will see in text explorer this unit test will run for these three inputs. Let us try to run these tests. And it's all passing. Next, what if we want to add few more validations for our story creation? For example, we can add a validation for maximum allowed length. Then our unit test will look like we want to test create story command validator for if text length is more than 20, then it should throw validation exception. The test body can look like this. 
we have one text variable with 21 characters in it and then the expected behavior is that our validator should report the exception let us decorate it with fact and now if we will run this test definitely it will fail because we do not have that validation in our validator right now so tdd or test driven development suggests that you should always first write unit test that will fail and then you should write the piece of code just enough to pass that test so let us go to our validator and add this new validation to it so it will look like maximum length should be 20 and now let us try to execute this test again and it is passing but in real life the text length 20 is too less we may need to allow some 300 characters in it and now obviously we need to modify our unit test and we should have 300 characters here and writing these 300 characters manually is tedious job but fortunately to create fake data for your unit test there are various packages libraries available we will be using one of it that is bogus so let us install this library to our unit test project you can get multiple results in this search please pay attention to this icon and the author let us install it once this is installed we can generate fake data for our test easily so now to generate string having 301 characters in it we need to create object of faker that is in bogus and then we want one random string with 301 characters and our test name should look like this let us run this test and again it is passing now we can have one more test we should have 300 characters and validation should pass for it and it should not report any exception for 301 character validator should report error and for 300 characters validator should not report error so let us add one more test create story command validator if text length is equal to 300 should success and here fluent assertion to confirm that is valid property of result it's true let us run this test and it is passing so all these tests are passing and it proves that our create story command has proper validations in place but at the same time it is very important to validate update story command because what if someone will create story with less than 300 character string and at the time of updation he can put 500 characters so this should not happen let us add another class here update story command validator tests and here also we will have all that tests we want to check update story command validator so we will need object of update story command validator but we don't have this class in place right now that means we don't have any validations for update command so let us add that validations so let us go to update story use case and add update story command validator it will look same as a create command validator and now let us go back to update story command validator test and let us add this namespace this matter resides in print validation test helpers it resides in bogus and this resides in fluent assertions so with this our update story command validator tests are ready you can always download this code from repository and examine it so let us run these tests and they all are passing so this is how we should write unit test for all our validations which resides in our application layer and you can experience that fluent validation library makes our job very easy so with this we can stop here if you find this content useful please like and subscribe thank you